Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Terry Craper. I'm the manager of learning development here at the Middlesex Corporation. We'd like to thank you today for joining us here to discuss our technical training topics. This time we're discussing how to determine the percentage of slope, that number you come up with, to enter into your pipe laser. It's really pretty easy. We use a simple math formula. Let's take a look at the formula. Percent slope is equal to delta H divided by D times 100. Well, that's a nice little formula, but what does all this fancy little stuff mean? It's very simple. The percentage of slope is calculated by determining delta means difference or change in, H is the height, D is distance. So the equation reads the change of, or percentage slope is equal to the change in height divided by the distance times 100. So when we talk about change in height and distance, what are we talking about? Let's go over here and look. This is a simple drawing you might find on pretty much any plans and prints for a set of uh, utility drawings. This one happens to be, I drew up a little uh, storm drain system. We have a structure here, number 101, where the pipe is leading over to structure 102. We have information that's usually given on the drawing itself or could be in a table. Here we have structure S101, and we see that the ring and cover has an elevation reading of an 8628 ring and cover. We have an invert A, which is an 8125. We have an invert B, which is an 8145. On structure S102, we have the same information, a ring and cover, an 8622, an invert A, of a 7985 and an invert B of a 7960. So what information do we need to do this? We need the information that talks about the pipe that's flowing between the two structures. We're going to do this piece of pipe right here. You can see it goes from structure S101 to S102 and there's a drop in the pipe run. So the first part of the equation says the percent slope equals the change in height. So what are we looking for? We're looking at the height difference between where the pipe in this structure, 101, and it comes into this structure, 102. And we know that that's given here as these two inverts, 8125 and 7985. So how do we calculate that? Let's start out with the structure S101 and 8125. Let's write that number down, 81.25. And it's going to structure S102, invert A, as 79.85. 79.85. Now all we have to do is a little simple math here, do some subtraction. When we do, we get 1.40. This drawing happens to be in linear feet, so all our readings are in feet. So the change in height from invert A here to invert A here is 1.4 feet. So looking at this, we've just figured out the first part of our equation we need. So let's write the equation down. Percent slope is equal to the change in height, which we just calculated as a 1.40, divided by the distance. What distance? The distance between the two structures, which is given on the prints, is 127 linear feet. So 127 goes here, times 100. The 100 is just a factor that will change us. When you divide 1.4 by 127, you get a decimal. Multiplying by 100 changes it into the percent number that you need for entering into the pipe laser. So let's do our math. Percent slope. When we divide 1.40 by 127, take out your calculator, and we get 0 0.0110. 140 divided by 127 is 1.0110 times 100. Now we do the multiplication. Percent slope by multiply point 
zero one one zero times one hundred I get one point one zero so the percent slope number that we're going to put on our pipe blazer after doing this formula right here is a 1.1 that's not quite all now we have to make another finding to determine what else we're going to add to this number so let's look pipe runs from structure 101 to 102 now we have to look at which way are you laying the pipe you should always lay if you have the option uphill so that would be from 102 to 101 and that's the case let's look at a pipe laser here so I can show you what we're talking about this is a pipe laser and I set it on the floor and I shoot a direct level beam it's going to come out straight like this if I was going to lay that pipe uphill just like we are here, let's say we're going to lay from 102 to 101 that beam is going to point uphill we see that beam is positive if I'm going to lay from structure 101 to 102, I'm laying downhill. That beam is going to point downhill. That's in the negative direction. So, you're laying your pipe, you're going to lay uphill. That's positive direction. So you're actually going to enter a positive, a plus 1.10 on that pipe laser. If you're going to lay from structure 101 to 102, you're going to make the reading a negative. Positive, you're laying uphill. Negative, you're downhill. Makes a big difference. So what we did here was some simple, pretty, pretty simple calculations from a simple equation. Percent slope equals change in height divided by the distance times 100, which we did right here to get our answer. We got that information off our set of prints. The last thing we had to determine, am I laying uphill or downhill, plus or minus? Enter that number into your pipe laser, and you've solved all your problems for the day. Now you can lay pipe. Again, my name is Terry Craper. I'd like to thank you for joining us here on Technical Training Topics from Middlesex University. You all have a great day.